So a lot of you have probably heard about and seen the video where in Wisconsin, a young woman is about to walk across the graduation stage and shake the hands of school officials and then exit the stage. But before she could do that, someone stormed the stage. Her father, named Matt Eady, E-D-D-Y, stormed the stage to prevent a certain person, the superintendent of schools, from shaking his daughter's hand. Just watch. Okay, so let's get into this, okay? First of all, how wound up do you have to be? You're a parent in the audience at your daughter's high school graduation to have pre-planned that you're gonna walk up on stage, stop the ceremony, and basically assault the superintendent of schools who happens to be black. This was in Wisconsin. Then the superintendent, when he did his police report, he said the girl's father said to him, you're not going to touch my effing daughter. Now, the father gave some excuse that his daughter was disciplined and he didn't like what the superintendent did. Superintendent said he didn't have a clue who this guy was. So, the school resource officer and two off-duty policemen in the story said they controlled the situation so it didn't get out of hand. Number one, if it had been someone else, maybe of the complexion of that superintendent that has stormed the stage, would they have just controlled the situation? Why didn't they tackle this guy, handcuff him, and drag his butt off to jail? And what did he think was going to happen if his daughter touched this black man's hand in a handshake like everybody else did? I mean, is my hand so toxic that I'm going to contaminate a white woman's hand if I shake her hand? Come on. What level of deep woods cross-burning racial hate do you have to have to pull something like that that your daughter that you say you're protecting is going to remember for the rest of her life and everybody sitting in that audience is going to remember now everybody across the country and the world that saw this is going to remember and hopefully if she were by some chance to have biracial children with a black man Would he want to hold them and shake their hands? 